So I've got a couple of things to report. Um, firstly, my sense of smell has come back. I lost my sense of smell when I got COVID. I didn't really notice at the time. I, I guess you don't notice what you haven't got. And it's been an issue really for, well, since April of 2020. Not that much of an issue. It's just that I've been aware that my sense of smell is hugely depleted. And I've been driving Laura nuts with the amount of incense I've been burning and the amount of aftershave and body sprays I've been using since I can't really smell it very well. So just slather it on. Yesterday evening, it came back. It didn't just come back in a gradual way that I think, oh, I can smell again. I felt it come back. It's almost like it was switched back on. So there's, that's one thing that's happened. Something else has happened that is worth reporting, which is not entirely unexpected. Now, I need to give you a context to this particular story. In the early 90s, when I was still working at the hospital before the pay reforms came in and nurses were desperately under, underpaid, the only place I could afford to live was a bedsit, and it was in a shared accommodation, one of those big old Victorian houses that landlords, basically scumbag landlords, like to buy up and rent out fairly cheap to students. You know when you hand over the deposit, you're never gonna see the deposit again, no matter what, and there's no maintenance on the property. The property had no heating and no running hot water. There was a downstairs toilet, and there was upstairs toilet and a shower that dribbled at best. And sometimes the dribble was warm, if you were lucky. And there was mold everywhere. Now, eight, I think it was eight people lived in that house. Colorful cast of characters over the time that I lived there. Each of us had our own rooms, which had a, like a front door because they were independent addresses, effectively, with a little kitchenette, as cheap as the landlord could put in there. Now we had Nigel No Life. Nigel avoided the rest of us. The rest of us, apart from one person, were largely in our early 20s, living for basically parties and drinking and failing to chat up the girls. We had Big Gay Graham. I think that was his name. We called him Gay Graham. Maybe he wasn't called Graham. He was a combination of the village people and the scary one from Frankie Goes to Hollywood the campest individual I've ever met in my life. A lot of fun and slightly disturbed. There was the South Africans and then there was a few others that came and went over the time. And shout out to Sarah as well, who we used to share with. And there was a lady who was in a whole new circuit of hell. She was a divorcee going through a life transition and it was all she could afford. She was in her fifties and she ended up basically sharing the house with us. Yeah, poor lady. Now, living in such an environment um, and in fairly impoverished conditions, you tend to, a lot of sharing goes on and people, we, it was a good group of people there, very supportive of one another, and you get to know each other rather well. And because of the um, lack of facilities, shall we say, you get to know each other rather well. Here was the other thing that I've noticed last night. Now I've got my sense of smell back. My poo smells like Nigel's. <laughs>